how to swap roles with your twin soul and get rid of a runner chaser dynamic forever. So let's get into the video and I will give you eight steps today because in a twin flame relationship, often the divine feminine is the chaser and the divine masculine is the runner. But this is an unhealthy situation and I would like to help you to get into a balanced relationship with your twin soul in your harmonious union. Because isn't it time that you will be treated like a queen or a king by your divine masculine and that you will be cherished, valued, accepted, respected, appreciated, all those things you desire and you are worth to receive this unconditional love. If you're new here, my name is Lorraine. Welcome to this channel, the Love Channel. And I, my, it's my mission to help people to live in abundance and in unconditional love. So if you're into that, subscribe to this channel and you will receive more videos. Step one. Visualize your twin soul. But today we will do it in another way than usual. So you're not thinking about all the things that happened. We will be like a goldfish. And a goldfish only has a memory for a few seconds. So we forget about the past. We forget about all the negative things. We are a goldfish right now and we're swimming and we are looking at our divine masculine and it's a good looking big fish. Roo! And we only see the most wonderful, delightful things about our divine masculine. So if I think about all the positive things from my divine masculine, ah, yeah, I love the way he walks. He walks very fast. I like it. I love the way he talks. His voice. Oh, yeah. It's a really nice voice. It's very, a very he has a very convincing voice and I love that. Uh, I love the way he looks at me. And um, yeah, I can see he loves me by the way he looks at me and everybody can see it. So it's not a secret anymore. We had this event last year at the 11th of the 11th and my twin flame was there and everybody saw how much he loved me. He didn't even have to say it. They could see it from his face. So it was really nice. So yeah, I love everything about my twin soul. Even the things that I wouldn't have expected to love. Like I never planned to have a bold man. Uh, so, um, or I even wasn't looking for my twin flame. But there he was. And yeah, I really loved him. And I was really surprised that I could love uh, another human being uh, so much as I love my twin, so much as I do love my twin soul. So my question to you is, if you visualize your twin soul and you only think about the positive things, you just see your twin soul in this moment. And what do you, what do you love about your, your twin soul? And comment it below. Because I'm really curious what you really like and love about your twin soul. The eyes are the mirror of the soul. So that's a common thing to, to mention. But maybe you love special things. So tell me. Tell me all the juicy details about your twin soul. Why do you love your twin soul so much? All right. Step two. Step two, what would it look like when your twin flame feels the same about you? Now imagine that all the things you mentioned in step one are now the thoughts of your divine masculine about you. So everything you love about your twin soul, now your twin soul also loves those things about you. For example, your twin flame loves the way you walk. The way you talk, the way you laugh, the way you cry, how you smell, the way you speak. Your twin flame even loves your feet, your toes, your knees, your hands, 
He loves your smile. He loves your eyes. He loves or she loves everything about you now. All the obsessive thinking you normally have about your twin soul, about your divine masculine, your divine masculine is now having all those obsessive thoughts about you. And you are worth it. You are worth thinking about all day long. You are worth it to be the romantic partner of your twin soul. And trust me, this exercise works very quickly. The biggest mistake people make on the twin soul journey, I made a video about it and uh, I will put it at the end of the video. But the mi biggest mistake is just watching the video or watching the twin soul webinars or reading the book. But if you really do this exercise, really do this ex exercise with focus, maybe you can stop the video and do it slowly or maybe you can do it later and it will work super fast assume this exercise will work super fast and i have six more stops steps to go step three step three accept that you are the special person for your twin soul Accept that you are made to be together with your twin soul. Accept that you are made to be the romantic partner for your twin soul. You are made to get married, or if you don't want to get married, but the serious, official, romantic partner of your twin soul. You are the one who is supposed to be in a relationship with your twin soul. So repeat after me. I accept that I am made for my twin soul. I expect that I am the best match for my twin soul. We are opposites and our mirror soul at the same time. And therefore, I am the best match for my twin soul now and forever. You are the one. You are it. You are their world. You are their highest priority. Accept that you can be the highest priority. You will be the highest priority of your twin soul. He or she will do everything for you. Trust me. Once you do these eight steps in the right way, you will get into union with your twin soul. And if you need help, we have coaches. Some of them also are able to coach in English. So you can do it in Dutch or English, maybe in Spanish in future or French. And I also want to stimulate you to make all the affirmations and the remarks marks into your in your own language. So if you comment below, you can just write in your own language. Wouldn't it be fun to have this international channel? Because in your own native language, you things will resonate better for you. So please you mention everything below in your own language, but of course you can also do it in English. And maybe that is your original native language, of course. It isn't my native language. You probably have heard it, but I am following lessons um, of the best teacher I can imagine. You may find it a strange ID now, but once you repeat this exercises, exercise more often, it will be, it will feel more natural to you that you are the one for your twin soul and that you will celebrate birthdays with family, Christmas, having Christmas dinners, um, maybe travel around the world, maybe live your soul mission with your twin soul. Except this will be normal for you and it's meant to be. It's written in the stars that you will get into a relationship with your twin soul. It's there for you. Otherwise, you would not be on this channel. It's there for you. And this year, there will be even more unions than last year. So there will be more new Twin Soul journeys. Uh, last week, uh, my assistant, my management assistant, she got into union with her twi Twin Soul. And she also has a lot of clients in her own company now. So she cannot be my assistant anymore. And we have a new assistant. So if you email us, you will get. Um, 
answered by her new assistant and she's also in union with her twin soul. She's living together with her twin soul and she fo followed she has followed all the courses in Twinsel School, uh, so she can answer the questions even better than I do. All right, step four. Step four, be the person you want to be. One of my favorite singers, Anouk, she sings, you can be who you wanna, you can be who you wanna be. And it's so true because I interviewed uh, one of the CEOs of a very large company in the Netherlands. And he told me when he discovered he wanted to become a CEO, he started behaving like one. So he observed the CEO of the company, what he was wearing. And he was wearing this pinstripe suits and cufflinks over here. And... Um, CEOs, they play golf or uh, the way they walk, talk, to which restaurants do they go? And he copied everything. And finally, he became the CEO of one of the largest banks in the Netherlands. We can use his successful strategy to get into union with your twin soul if you start behaving like you are already chosen by your twin soul, that you're already valued, cherished, and if you truly are faithful to the new version of you, then your subconscious mind will reflect it in your reality for sure. A hundred percent guarantee if you do all these steps that you will get into union with your twin soul. So please don't forget to Come back to this video once you are in union with your twin soul and that you explain us what exactly you changed from now on till your union to get into union with your twin soul. So if you liked it so far, I really appreciate it. Appreciate a like because it will stimulate YouTube to show this video to more twin souls and that's my mission so you can help me reach my my goal I want to reach 1 million twin souls to get into union to live in abundance and unconditional love that's my mission I'm not there yet but we will get there slowly or fast in the fastest way as possible step five Step five, get your twin soul off the pedestal. I used to put my twin soul on a pedestal. Most of the divine feminines put their twin soul on a pedestal. But trust me, this will not get you into union with your twin soul. So get your twin soul off the pedestal right now. Because if you have your twin soul on a pedestal, probably your twin soul also will have you on the pedestal and they will not feel good enough for you. And there will not be a balanced connection. So if this is the case, then do the exercise with me. Picture your twin flame in front of you. And usually when you have your twin flame on a pedestal, your twin flame is a little higher than you. It's literally you look up to your twin soul. So lower your twin soul to the middle and you will have this equal relationship. But you can also put your twin soul, just for a little while, a little bit lower. So your twin soul is looking up to you now. And maybe he is asking you to marry you. He's or she is sitting on her knees or his knees and they'll ask you to marry you. So lower your twin flame a little bit. And then you can all, then you can bring your twin soul and then it will be on the same level. And this exercise will stimulate your subconscious mind to get balance into your connection. It's weird that it works that this way, but it's worth trying. And also trust that this exercise will help you to get your twin soul off the pedestal and you are worth it. You are worth it to be adored and respected by your divine masculine 
in the fastest and easiest way possible. So I would like you to reach your union in the fastest and easiest way possible. Step six. Step six, stop chasing an obsessive behavior. If you want to get rid of a rudder chaser dynamic, you have to stop chasing. If you stop chasing, the rudder chaser dynamic will change automatically. For instance, if you are checking on the social media of your Divine Masculine, or you want to check your mobile phone if your Divine Masculine has sent you a message, then think by yourself, no, 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 wait a minute. My twin flame is thinking about me. My twin flame is thinking about me now, and they are checking my social media. They want to send a message to me now. I will recommend you an exercise. We can do it together now. And every time I do this, I get a message from my twin soul within two minutes. I also did it on a course. We were together um, with uh, eight of my students and I gave the example. And after two minutes, I got the message and I even got the message with the sentence I pictured. Just two minutes before the message came in. Don't tell my twin flame. I never tell him about all the things I do because I want it to be a spontaneous conversation. And I'm always happy to receive his messages. And I'm always surprised that it always works. But everything works this way. So not only the message uh, from your twin soul, but everything in life works this way. If I do this with my students, they also get this message from their twin soul. And uh, they're not even surprised anymore. But they are very happy and they send me a copy of the message. And I love success stories. You can also send me, always send me success stories. And, um, but for questions, we developed the twin soul app. So don't send me all the questions because then I have no time to, to live my life anymore. But I do love all the success stories. And um, picture your twin flame and your twin flame is holding their mobile phone in their hand. Yeah. And they're looking you up. Oh yeah, there you are. There you are. They type the message you like to receive. It's happening right now. So you're not visualizing this will happen one day within fi the five years. No, it's all happening now. You are receiving this message right now and your twin soul is typing the text you like to, to, to hear from your twin soul right now. So your twin soul is typing and imagine that your twin soul is sending, pressing the send button right now. Now you've received the message and how do you feel? So in this moment, you have received the message of your twin soul. The message you really love to hear from your twin soul. Something like, hey, I was thinking about you. Can we meet soon? Or hi, uh, just to say I love you. Or I always get a kiss from my divine masculine. We send each other kisses during the day when I'm thinking of, you, when I'm thinking of him or when he thinks about me. And we also did it before our union. It was our code to, to let each other know, hey, hi, I'm thinking about you, X. So just know right now that you have received this message. You already have received this message. You are the happy person. Be cheerful. Be the person you want to be. Be cheerful. Be happy in life as if you were already chosen by your twin soul and you already received this wonderful message. I always use the happy oil. It's with 100% pure bergamot and I use it. You cannot use this um, during sunbathing, but there is no sun right now here. Oh, and it smells really nice and it stimulates your brain to feel happy and to get love, get, get rid of um, 
sadness if you have the sadness. So you can use it as well, but you don't need it. You don't need anything to get into union with your twin soul. You just have to swap roles by using these eight steps. Then you can always book a twin talk from one of our coaches who's already together with their twin soul. If you think it's difficult to get into union, because it isn't. Step seven. Step seven, we're almost there. Start receiving today. Start receiving unconditional love. And you can do this by loving yourself unconditionally today. From now on, you make yourself your highest priority. You are the number one in your life. And if you make yourself a priority, your twin flame will make you their priority as well. Everything will change if you start to love yourself unconditionally. You forgive yourself for everything you may or may not have done in your life. You will be confident and you will be satisfied with your own behavior. Really, this will change everything. And never blame your twin soul for something. Your twin soul is never to blame because your twin soul is your mirror, mirror soul. So if you think your mirror has made a mistake, you really have to look within what is it that you can change yourself and the behavior of your twin flame will change as well. It will change automatically if you change. Step eight, the final step. This year, everything will change forever. If you decide that everything will change, it will change because you are the creator of your own reality. You hold the key to union with your twin soul. Not your twin soul, not your friends and your family, not me, no one but you. Hold the key to union with your twin soul. You are the leader, the, the conscious leader of your union. You can create union with your twin soul. I've done it. More people have done it. You can do it. You are here to learn how to get into union with your twin soul by using the steps I just gave you in the video and I'll give you an extra step. It's an important step. Create the best affirmation for you. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different twin soul. Everybody has a different journey, different perspective on the journey, different past, different negative thoughts and blockages. So everybody needs different affirmations. We can help you to create the best affirmations, but you can also do it yourself. Think about the video. Is there something that touched you, moved you? Or maybe you got a little emotional by accepting that it's written in the stars, that you and your twin flame belong together, that to your twin soul, you are the most beautiful person and the best match. And if so, you can create an affirmation out of that, like, okay, I accept that my twin soul truly loves me and wants to be with me forever and will never leave. No one and nothing will come between us. We will stay together now. 23. 2023. What kind of year will this be for you? Or if you are watching this video later, what do you want to think at the end of the year, on the 31st of December, when we look back at this year, what kind of year was it? This was the year we came together. This was the year we started living together. Or we decided to have a baby together. Or we got married. Or my twin flame proposed. Or we started our own business. Or we discovered to live our soul mission. Or we traveled around the world. I am very curious. Type it below. What kind of year was 2023 for you? As if it already happened. You are already this happy, cheerful person who is already chosen by your twin soul and in a harmonious union with your twin soul. And what kind of year was it to you? Share your thoughts with me because then I can even make 
better videos in the future for you. And I would love to see you in the next video. Bye bye.